I've seen other people install Honda S2000 start buttons in their Civics and other vehicles, but it was always done in a way where you had to use the key, turn it on to the ignition position, and then push the button to start it. That kind of defies the whole point of putting a push button starter in your car. So I wrote a little program for a microcontroller to make it easier and it'll be more like a, a new vehicle that comes standard with a push to start button. This first LED represents the button illumination. This second LED represents the accessory position and this one's the ignition position or the on position. And then this last one represents the starter. This button represents the clutch or brake switch if you're using an automatic transmission. And then this represents the push to start button. So the way that it works is if you do not have your foot on the clutch pedal or brake pedal and you press the start button. It's just like putting your key in the accessory position. So your radio would come on or whatever else in that mode. And you can see the button illumination would illuminate. And you press the uh, button again. And now that's the same as the ignition position or the on position. And so the vehicle still is not running, but the gauges are on, the fuel pump's on, everything is on. It just hasn't started yet. You press the button a third time, everything shuts off, and the button illumination starts flashing again. Now to start the vehicle, you would press the clutch or brake switch. So that would be like pushing in the clutch pedal or stepping on the brake if you have an automatic. And then you press the engine start button. Now you can see this last LED lit up. That represents the starter. So the starter is turning over and the ignition is on. So the motor will now start. You release the start button and you can see the accessory light came on. So everything is now on and it's just like having started your car the regular way, except you did it with a button and you did not have to use a key to do this. So I think it's more practical than uh, the way that I see other people installing uh, engine start buttons in their vehicle. And of course to shut it off, you just press the start button one more time and everything turns off and the push to start button illumination starts flashing again. And that is my take on a engine push to start button. I plan on actually implementing this uh, pretty soon. Uh, I've ordered a few parts and I'm going to make a circuit board and I'm going to install it in my vehicle and see how reliable it is. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe for updates.